best free online website builder. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top website builders for you to get started online for free. So to develop your website without having to pay for domain names or hosting, you can get started with designing your website and launching your website for free online with these website building software. So let's get into it. Now, starting off at number one, we have Wix. And Wix is probably my favorite website builder out of all of these because how easy it is to use Wix. Now, Wix is a platform which is available for free as well as a paid version, but we're just going to discuss the free versions of all of these web builders. Now, on Wix, the pro of Wix is that it is very easy to use. So I'm just going to log on to my dashboard over here. And this is my basic dashboard. Now you can see I already have created a website, but if I click on my site over here, I can go on and click on create new site over here. And then I can get started with creating another website using Wix. And I don't have to download anything. I don't have to pay for anything. And I also don't have to wait around to find a domain name or to find hosting. Wix provides all of that all together. Now, the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for whatever kind of website I'm looking to build. So let's say I'm looking to do a, um, let's say I'm looking to do something fashion related. So I'm just going to search for fashion uh, maybe I'm a fashion design artist, so I'm just going to click on next. And this will actually provide me several different templates to design my website. Now, another great pro about Wix that I don't find in other website development applications, in, even in the other websites that I'm going to show you guys, this feature is not available, which is the ADI. So the Wix ADI is the Wix artificial intelligence, which designs the websites for you uh, according to your uh, questionnaire answers. So I'm not going to go with the website editor because over here you can just find templates and then you can start editing your templates. I'm going to click on start now over here and show you guys the Wix ADI and how good it functions in real time. So we are just going to open up the Wix ADI over here. I'm just waiting for this to open up and now you're just going to answer a couple of questions to get started with your website. So first off you want to add the features that you want. So let's say we have a you want to add your Instagram feed. I want a subscribe form and I also want a blog and a forum. So that's it. I'm just going to click on next over here and then I'm going to add the name of my business. So it could be Jane Fashion Group like so. And I'm just going to click on next. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is if you already have like a Google business account linked, you can add that over here. But we're just going to skip that for now. I'm just going to click on next over here. Now, after that, Wix is going to ask me the theme I would like to follow. So I would want to add this red theme. That's the Inspire theme. So this is the kind of font I'm going for. I'm just going to click on continue over here and you're going to see how Wix is really simplifying the entire web development process. I'm not going to customize the template further, but I'm just going to show you guys the overall template that Wix is going to suggest me after I finish up this questionnaire. So now that I have answered those questionnaires, Wix is giving me three templates or three basic designs that I can get started with. And you can see the world of Jane Fashion Group, experience the Jane Fashion Group or Jane Fashion Group. So this is how easy it is. To start developing your own website using Wix. Now, the next site that I'm going to talk about is Google Sites. Now, before I head on over to Google Sites and tell you guys all about it, I'm going to list some cons of Wix. So, the good part about Wix is that it has this kind of dashboard which is very easy to use and manageable, but the bad part about Wix is that it is not very, very user friendly when you're editing your website. So, if I were to edit a template, you can mess up the design because it is just so customizable. It allows you to do so much in customizations that you might actually get lost and you might mess up some of your design. But other than that, Wix is probably my top favorite in the list. Now, moving on to Google Sites. Google Sites is another great platform to develop your own website. And the good part about Google Sites is that it has a very simple structure. If you already have a Google account, you're already going to be signed in and you don't have to complicate things. You can just click on blank over over here and then you're just going to get like a basic website editor and there isn't a lot of customization that is one con of google sites it's the opposite of wix so you don't have a lot of customization but the overall setup process is pretty simple and to design anything like a basic landing page you can just click on over here and then you can add jane's fashion group like this and then you can add your basic information and then design it later on the good part about google sites is that even if you're a beginner you can't mess up a Google site. So 
if I was to like move my text, I couldn't drag and drop. And that is one pro because if you can do drag and drop features and all of that stuff, you can often mess up the design. So in those terms, Google Sites is actually probably a lot better than Wix for beginners if they're looking for customization and they are not being very comfortable with the overall website editor and they think it's a bit too complicated. Google Sites has really simplified the entire process. You can see over here, if you go on to pages, you can just click on new page you can add another page let's say i have a about us page over here and like this i have created my about us page i have a home page about us page and it's so simple and easy to create one now in terms of pros and cons Google Sites is only for beginners. I would say that if you want a little bit of customization, you want a separate kind of look for your website, you can't really get that on a Google Sites website, but that is also one pro because that keeps your overall effort that you have to put in to develop your website simple. Now, moving on to the third on our list today is Weebly, which is provided by Squarespace. So over here, you're just gonna click on create your website and Weebly is pretty similar to Wix in terms of the website editor and and the overall sign up process you're just going to click on over here you're going to enter your email and then you're just going to click on sign in so i'm just going to log into my account over here i'm just going to log in so you can see over here that i have logged on to my weebly account and i have already created one website using weebly you can see over here i'm just going to open this up and show you guys it's a pretty simple process and it's pretty much the same as wix and you can just click on over here you can click on add site and then you can start creating your own website. You can see I created a photography page already, so it's pretty simple and neat. And I just added a My Work page over here. Now you can just click on New Site and you can click on if you just need a website or if you want a website with an online store, you're just going to click on I need a website. And then this is going to take you to their theme chooser or the template chooser. So you can choose a template from here and get started with Weebly. So this is how easy it is to set up your website with Weebly as well. The pro of Weebly is that it is also very customizable, but uh, one of the cons of Weebly is that it is not very user-friendly. The overall website editor and setup process, the setup process is user-friendly, but the actual uh, dashboard is not that user-friendly, and it might be a bit complicated for someone that is just starting out. Now, finishing off our list on number four, we have GoDaddy. Now, you might know GoDaddy for a domain name service providing service, but GoDaddy can also be used to create websites. So you're just going to go on over here. You're going to go on to websites and you're just going to go on to the website builder and you can get started with developing your own website for free. So you're just going to click on start for free and there is no credit card required. We're just going to go on to the GoDaddy editor. I'm going to sign into my account and so I'm just going to continue with my Facebook account and now I can just choose the category for which I'm looking to create my website let's say I just want to do something fashion related because that's the example I was going with so I want to be a fashion designer I'm going to click on next I'm going to call my site Jane Fashion Group just like that I'm going to click on next and now I'm just going to wait until they load up some templates. So you can see over here, this is the website builder that they have. I can get started with changing this template that they have provided, or I can just go into the theme over here and change the overall theme. And the thing about GoDaddy is that I do like to use it, but the thing with GoDaddy is that it gives you a GoDaddy domain name. So if you want your domain name to be uh, simple, then you should definitely go with Google Sites because they provide you with the best free domain name. But if you're all right with the GoDaddy domain name, you can definitely check this out. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own website with these free website development softwares and I will catch you guys in the next video.